Hello everybody, my name is Chris and welcome back to more Mass Effect 2. So the last episode we went and we had to recruit our next crewmate, our next our next team member, Thane Krios, which is a cool ass name, but the assassin was his dossier. And we learned from talking to Liara and um, basically led us towards finding him and he was actually here because he was on a mission. He was on a mission to assassinate Nasana Dantius, who we remember from the last game, Mass Effect 1, uh, because she had she had reached out to us. Not really reached out, we kind of like walked in and she was like, hey, come here. Uh, so basically she made this bullshit story about how her sister was kidnapped by mercenaries and that we should go save her and everything, only for us to go there and find out that, oh, she's not kidnapped, she's actually in charge of this group and it's a group of slavers we kill her anyway was it Dahlia Dahlia Dantius right we go there we do that and we come back and we tell Nasana about it and she's like yeah you know it is what it is because she was blackmailing Nasana she was blackmailing her sister because she knew um, if it got out that Dahlia was actually her sister it would affect Nasana's career and so she was blackmailing with the idea of revealing that she was in charge of a slaver group, right? And so Nasana was like, no, that's not going to happen. Take her out. But she bullshitted us, and we we bought into it, and we killed her sister. Probably was a good thing one way or another, but that was the whole situation. And now she's actually back, and she was here, and... She was over in the the Dantius Towers. One of them fully constructed, the other under construction. Basically, Thane was going after this woman because <laughs> she was uh, a bad person. And so we, we pushed our way through the towers trying to not stop his assassination of Nasana. We didn't really care. Honestly, she has it coming. But it was more to make sure that Thane didn't die. Not that I was really worried. Right, if he's like that good of an assassin... I don't imagine that she would get the one up on him, but we don't know. We don't know. But we charged through a bunch of mercenaries, a bunch more, bunch more mechs, and made our way, only for us to confront Nasana, and then have her killed by Thane, by dropping down from the ceiling and assassinating her. And he is so fascinating. Aside from, like, he looks really cool. Like, he looks fucking rad, right? Um... But, like, the whole brief interaction we had with him... Like, we're going to go talk to him after this, right? Along with a couple other people. But the big thing is that... When he killed her, he, like, laid her down gently. And then he did, like, a... He said, like, a prayer. Which was really strange. But the thing is, he wasn't praying for her. He was praying for the wicked. And referring to himself. Because, um... His whole thing was, like... Actions right you could have um you could have good intentions and you can have um you could have good you know a good heart and all that but it's like but it's what you actually do right and he was basically he was acknowledging like killing her was a wicked act but he still did it right and i think that his whole philosophy seemed very interesting so as a character he seems by far I think, like, I love, I love all the characters. I love Morden. Morden is great, right? Um, and Garrus, of course, right? And Tali, like, all of them, right? But, but, but Thane just seems, like, so intriguing. So I'm very interested to hear what he's got, uh, what he's got to, he's got to say. Like, he's, he's already joined us. He's on the ship. Like, it was super, super easy, super efficient. Um, but yes, yeah, so that's that's what we did last time, and this time we got to go after our next and final, allegedly final. I don't know if there's more, but um, our last dossier, the Justicar Samara. But uh, there's a couple other things I want to go over. We got to go around. We got to hack these systems because we promised we would, and do anything for Liara, <laughs> and I have no idea where some of these are, but I feel like it'd be obvious, so we just gotta walk around. I'll probably find them, 
it's probably not going to be that bad. But I also imagine it's not going to be easy either. It's going to be interesting. Um, then Morden wants to talk to us specifically. Personal matter which he wishes to discuss. Right? And then uh, once we once we get Samara, right, then, then I think we're going to start doing some of these um, loyalty missions. And then I also want to do these, right? It's not that I've been putting them off. It's my, more like I want to get get us into the right spot first to then go. Right? Because this we picked up while going after Thane. Right? It was a little data pad. And then Arrival. I know we're waiting for that. Arrival, Overlord. Those are way, way later. Way later. Same kind of with Player of the Shadow Broker. So I'm going to kind of do those way later at the end of the, at the end when we can um but all right one we're gonna start walking around but the 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 interesting thing is that Thane had mentioned that he's dying right so he wants basically his last act his last act joining us and stopping the collectors and basically making the, the galaxy a safer place that's good that's good. He loves that idea. But his whole his whole thing seems to be doing doing good, doing good things. Even like like not good like the act, but good is in like the result, I guess. I don't know. He's I, I'm sure we're going to learn more Commander, about him. Morden requests to see you. We'll do. Uh, for anything cuz I'm going to talk to a lot of people. Got to feed these fish. Got to name it. I don't want them to die again. That was traumatic. <sighs> okay. Okay, they're okay. It's gotta be fine. It's fine. Everything's fine. Um. What up, buddy? Always gotta check. But um. Yeah. So he's he's a fascinating fascinating guy. Why is he dying? What is he? Who is he? Right. Now, armor, I kind of want to go into the next one with a different armor, right? I want to mix it up. I said it last time, and we finished. We finished Thane, so I'm going to change things up a little bit. What it could be is to be seen, because I really like this. I really do. This one's, like, neat. This one looks really cool. And this one kind of reminds me of the armor we got occasionally in Mass Effect 1. Right? Negotiation bonus. Tech biotic power and storm speed. What is the... What is the chitin? I know how to pronounce that now. Chitin. Over here chitin. Chitin. <laughs> Fuck. Regeneration bonus, storm speed, and health. So it makes sense now that I've actually seen the collectors. Like, we've physically seen them. And so, like, this aesthetic kind of makes a lot of sense. We're going we're gonna to go to our next mission with that. I think that'll be fun. It's just so outrageous. Okay. We're going to stay. We stay classy. All right. Stay good, fish. Stay good. Never let them die again. Okay, now let's go. Let's go through our our usual checklist. I don't know what to feel about Grunt. My psych reports were for Oak here. We have no guarantees that Grunt is mentally stable. I get the feeling he just doesn't care about anything, including who lives or dies. I mean, he was quite literally almost born yesterday you know he has all these memories he's he's not even sure he's not he's grasping what life and reality and who he is so it's like it gets like he doesn't care about anything yeah because he doesn't have an emotional connection to anything yet and i don't want to be like oh, okay well that's how that's how he was designed maybe but i mean we'll see we'll see is there anything I should know? 
Morden would like to speak with you over in his tech lab. Anything else, Commander? Do you have a moment to talk? I always have time for you, Commander. Oh, okay. I better go. Okay. Maybe we'll talk later. Always. Excellent. 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 I think that's the first time she's really like, oh, Morden wants to talk to us because all the other times the crew's never had like a thing to tell us, I think. Oh, another her. dangerous alien aboard, Commander. Thanks. Why can't you collect coins or a commemorative plate or something? <laughs> God damn it. Oh, that. Why can't you collect coins or something? Shit, man. Wait. He's... I assume everything is going well up here. Good for now. Fractured my thumb on the mute, but I think I made my point. Oh. What do you think about the people we're picking up? Well, about the ones you went out with last. Grunt is... Not a stabilizing element, Commander. It seems like Garrus has finally worked that stick out of his butt, but now he's trying to beat guys to death with it. I can't... It's just my opinion, though. There's really no need to go spreading it around. That's it for now. See you, Commander. Excellent. Great. It's like, Grunt seems... He's a pretty straightforward guy. <laughs> he's very simple. You know, he's not a very complicated individual. At least the way, the way he uh, talks to us and approaches everything. I hope we can clear up what's going on with the Gernsback, Commander. Doubt my father's alive after all this time. Was there anything else? Just eager to get going. Yeah, no, don't worry. Um, I don't think he's going to change his opinion on any of these. Um, we might just head to who we need to talk to. What do you think of the state of the crew? Yeah. Anything else, Commander? Okay. How are we doing? Doing Dave? good. But good is just as dead as bad, if I understand the threat. How long can we last with collectors going wherever they want? Anything else, Commander? I'm more interested in just talking for a bit. Already? I'm okay. not big on forcing these We'll talk much. later. Commander. <laughs> Excellent. Excellent work. Okay. Nothing there. Morning. we will talk to you in a moment. Talk to others first. Nothing personal. I just want to make sure, because this could turn into a thing. So before that, one thing that I did not do yet was talk to Tali about if she has any upgrade ideas for the ship. It's another thing I did. Okay. Oh, that's right. She's hanging out with the engineers. Damn it. <laughs> Did you hear that we are sharing our deck with a Krogan? Well, ain't that peachy? <laughs> Super peachy. Shepard, what can I do for you? Have you got time to talk? I really need to clean up this engine. Maybe later? Okay. Doesn't work. No. Can you do anything to give the Normandy an edge over a collector ship? Definitely. With the right supplies, I can fortify our shields. The collectors cut through the Normandy's barriers immediately last time. My upgrades might give us a better chance. Ooh, hell yeah. Because, yeah, like, we, we upgraded the armor, but our shields still got blown through. This was Cyclone Shield Tech. That's cool. The rapidly oscillating kinetic obstructions of cyclonic barrier technology, or CBT, are added to the ship. This should help the ship survive blasts like those that destroyed the first Normandy. Well, luckily, we have enough <laughs> enough palladium. So let's boost our shields. Hell yeah, just like that. Just like that. Shepard, what can I do for you? How's the Normandy running? Say what you will about Cerberus. They know how to build ships. The Normandy's running even better than before. I don't know if it can stand up to a collector attack, though. I'm researching some ideas that might help. Well, now that we got the shield you suggested, I think we're gonna be okay. Is the new Normandy giving you any trouble? Please, Shepard. I'm a Quarian. 
Give me a chunk of scrap metal, a circuit board, and some element zero, and I'll have it making precision jumps. Damn. I was worried about working with Cerberus engineers, but they know what they're doing, and they've been very polite. Good. Good. They're good I'll people. I'll let you work. Talk to you later. <sighs> Sweet. Normandy shield upgrade complete. Excellent. Hell yeah. Any more stories? This mission takes me back. I used to do a little scorched earth work here and there. Then the Batarians started muscling in. No one's as good with terror tactics as they are. I mean, the Krogans will come at you, break your face, kill your family. But the Batarians, they'll turn your planet into a glass parking lot without a second thought. Jesus. God damn. I'm trying to remember, what was his name? Salarian infiltration specialist, hundred story man. Guy could disable a station security with a few taps on an Omni tool. God damn. He went to work with Eclipse a few years back. Had to kill him for a job. Your Morden Solus kind of reminds me of him. Oh shit. The real badass. I should let you go. Talk more later, Shepard. Alright, next time. He's got so many stories. It's kind of wild. <laughs> I dread the idea of knowing that, yeah, there's... So many vegetables, like my fish are in there. Just shot out into space. <laughs> Lord. Okay, you know what? I think... Well, I guess we're here. We might as well see just in case. Got anything to say, buddy? Shepard. Just checking in, making sure you're acclimatizing. Uh, humans talk too much. Like the tank. Come back later. Okay. So I know they're probably not going to say anything more really until we do their loyalty missions. So maybe it's best... Don't worry about talking to Anything in some? your tank imprints that can make use of the resources we found? Nothing else I can think of. I'm no tech. Enjoy what you've got. <laughs> That's all for now. Shepard. Thanks, man. But you got a new shotgun, so honestly, at the end of the day, that was, was good for all of us. Good for everyone. <laughs> Miranda cares. Thane. Thane is on the crew quarters. So let's go talk to him. And then talk to Thane, and then we're going to go talk to Morden. I was going to say, we didn't get access to here before. Life support. Cool. He just set up his own little bed. He's hanging out. Nice. What's up, sir? Do you need something? So it's like almost like skate, like almost like fish scales in a way. Energy. I want to talk to you. I want to talk about you. Have a few minutes to talk? Certainly. We haven't had a chance since I joined. When we met you, you said you were dying. Yes. I thought you'd want to know more. You don't have to worry about the rest of the crew. My illness is not communicable even to other drow. It's called Kepril's Syndrome. Kepril's? Life expectancy Kepril Syndrome. Are you going to be all right until the end of the mission? I should be fine for another 8 to 12 months. The more time I spend in human environments, the faster it progresses. I think it's safe to say that by the time my body is incapacitated, we'll be victorious. Or dead. Either way, I won't be a burden to you. God, that's so sad to think about. Shit. Like, obviously, he's come to... Seems like he's come to terms with it, right? But still. What exactly is the problem? My people are native to an arid world. Most of us now live on Kaje, the Hanar homeworld. It's very humid and rains every day. Our lungs can't deal with the moisture. Over time, the tissue loses its ability to absorb oxygen. Oh, shit. It becomes harder to breathe. Eventually, we suffocate. Oh, my God. So... So they live on a humid world, and that humidity is actually killing them. 
like it's it's already it's like hard on them but eventually because they deal with it for so long like it just it just becomes permanent as a problem can't they do something about that the handler have funded a genetic engineering program they should be able to adapt us the project has only been running for a few years i don't believe my body will still draw breath by the time it bears fruit that sounds so damn it i'm getting invested in him and he's on a, a death march essentially then don't live on Kaji, or use breathers. Drill have a close relationship with the Hanar. We rely on each other. The best we can do is keep our homes very dry inside. Well, I mean, that doesn't really answer the breather suggestion, but they rely on each other. So they just stay in their homes, keep it dry, and just survive, basically. You seem calm about it, can we help? Is there anything we can do here? Normandy has a state-of-the-art medical bay. No, thank you. It's being attended to. If the finest medical minds in the Hanar illuminated primacy can't solve the problem, I doubt your ship's medic could. Thank you for your concern. Trust me, this won't affect my performance. Damn. To be honest, like, your performance wasn't really in question. Like, personally. It's just... Dude really seems like, in a way, like, checked out. Like, he's... Do you need something? I guess in a way, like, I can't blame him. Like, if that's your situation. And... Do you mind if I ask you a few questions? Not at all. Right, he's just kind of... He's doing what he needs to do. He's, he's doing the thing. And he's going. And he... He sees the end of the road. That's it. We need to have the best equipment possible to take on the collectors. Do you have any leads I could chase down? My old contact network often located rare equipment for me. Would you like me to get in touch with them? What? Interesting. Yes. Let's see what they've got. Ship enhancement. Modular probe bay. Ooh, shit. Probe booster. Normally, exploration upgrade gains 100% probe capacity and additional probes. So we can hold more than 30. So 100% capacity, so does that double it? Either way, it's pretty good. <laughs> probe booster. That just means we don't have to buy probes as often. Do you need something? Do you mind if I ask you a few questions? Not at all. Um, another topic. There's something else I'd like to talk about. Or does that ask. just go back? It just goes back, okay. Do you mind if I ask you a few questions? Not at all. Okay. Drell and Hanar. The Drell live on the Hanar homeworld, don't they? Yes. I know many think the Hanar are difficult to understand. It's just that they're very formal with those they don't know. We know them quite well. If you ever get close enough to a Hanar that they tell you their soul name, you would find them warm. Oh. That's interesting. You know a soul name. They don't speak, do they? I thought that Hanar only let very close friends know their soul name. Most of my commissions were for Hanar. I grew close to my regular contacts. Soul names tend to be poetic. A Hanar known for its cynicism might take a name that means illuminates the folly of the dancers they're poetic it's kind of fascinating that's an interesting so their soul name is like it's not like a just like a name name but it's like deeper than that they don't speak do they and our talk using bioluminescence that's more of an obstacle than their politeness true Many Drell have had their eyes genetically modified to perceive their higher frequency flashes. I had the treatment. I can't tell the difference between a dark red and black, but I can see ultraviolet light as a silver color. That's a wild... That's... So they, they intentionally, because they live on the same world, they have their eyes modified so that they can communicate with the Hanar better. Because they, obviously, they cohabitate. And he had it. 
That's crazy. So the side effect, obviously. Dark red and black look exactly the same. An ultraviolet light. So like that purple. Or or any UV. Like silver color. That's kind of... That's interesting. Hmm. When you pray for the wicked, who exactly are you praying to? That depends on the circumstance. To find my target, I speak with Emon Kira, Lord of Hunters. When I act to defend another, Arashu, goddess of motherhood and protection. And when I have taken my target, I speak with Kalahira, goddess of oceans and the afterlife. That is fascinating. Because I was, I was wondering too, it's like he's saying a prayer and it's like, but to who? You're polytheistic. I didn't know that Drell had many gods. It's one of our older beliefs. Many embrace the Hanar and Kindlers now, or the Asari philosophies. The old ways are dying. There are so many ways to interpret one's place in the universe. Who needs the wisdom of our ancestors? The younger generations don't believe they can help us fathom genetic engineering, orbital strikes, or alien races. That's cr <laughs> This is so... This is, this is more... This is deeper than I thought I was going to get. This is cool. That's really cool. Uh, the younger generations, the kids don't know. They don't get it. Oceans of afterlife don't seem to have much in common. Consider, the ocean is full of life. Yet it is not life as you and I know it. To survive there, we must release our hold on land. Accept a new way to live. So it is with the death. The soul must accept its departure from the body. If it can't, it will be lost. God, that's good. Shit. Damn. That's a hell of a line. Wow. Fascinating. Because, yeah, I was like... I, I mean, you even thought oceans and afterlife. I'm like, that's an interesting combination. To have for... Like, one god to represent. But that's cool. That's cool. Yeah, I'm glad we talked to him. I don't think there's anything else we can... There's something else I'd like to talk about. Ask. Anything else? Have a few minutes to talk. Later. I'd like to consider what we've already discussed. Excellent. I should go. I shall return to my meditations. God, he's a cool dude. God, it's so sad it's gonna be only... He, he's got literally a year max. That's insane. That sucks. The commander has put together an impressive team. I've never worked with so many aliens before. They're a small army. We might just pull this mission off. Hell yeah, we will. Nobody's gonna die. We are gonna crush our enemies. Yes. Those calibrations going okay? Shepard, need me for something? Have you got a minute? Can it wait for a bit? I'm in the middle of some calibrations. That's yeah, still. How are we? Are we? Are we so miscalibrated? <laughs> Normandy weapons service crew. Okay. Talk to you later, Garrus. I'll be here if you need me. You always have. Okay. I think. I think that's it. Right? Because I don't think. Because Miranda, we got we got all their their loyalty missions. So I don't think there's gonna be anything. They're really gonna tell us, right? Once you get some more stories. People are talking out there, and I hear it all. Liara Tassoni's got quite a reputation. I've done business with her people before. I hear you and she were an item before. I bet it was hard running into her again after all this time. <laughs> I mean, we were. I mean, an item. That's to you know, it's different. But yeah. She, she was nice. Gabby and Ken would make a great couple. I just doubt they'll ever realize it. The Normandy runs so quietly. I'm not used to hearing my footsteps when I walk. Come back later. I'm sure I'll have more to talk about. Oh, I'm sure. All right, let's, uh, let's do one for the road. Oh. 
Okay, and somebody mentioned we can mix these? We can. What is that? It's purple. <laughs> well, that makes sense, right? The colors. But that's strong. Good shit. Oh, we are rapidly <laughs> instant intoxication. Oh, nope, wrong way. See, I'm I'm already I'm too tipsy. Uh. <laughs> okay, uh, let's go talk to Morden, and then let's get a jump on our next our next situation. I'll check for messages too. I didn't check that. But, Arden. Shepard, important news. Know you're busy. Have to deal with the collectors. Planning attack. Too important to wait. Just receiving data. Still processing, analyzing likely scenarios. Not sure how to begin. Too much intel. You remember our talk? My work on genophage modification? Remind me. Yes, I remember. I do remember. But maybe having him recap would be interesting anyway. Why don't you refresh my memory? Personally, led a team, created new version of Genophage, released it onto Chanka, other colonies, re-stabilized Krogan population. Yep, onto Chanka. Uh, okay, is that, did that just like jump us over to the tree? Because we, we did actually have this conversation. I thought it was going to be like a, a different recap. I doubt you wanted to give me a history lesson. What's going on? Blood Pack mercenaries captured former team member, Malin, last seen on Tuchanka, might torture him, make an example. Recovering Malin would be a personal favor to me. Interesting. I guess I could have selected that other option. Damn. Um, recovering Malin. So wait, you want us to go to Tuchanka? Isn't that where, uh... Isn't that where Rex is? Didn't he go to Tuchanka? To, like... Help their re uh, like unite the clans. They know what you did. Oh, so one of his guys is there. Shit. Do you think they found out your team updated the genophage? Unclear. No way to determine until we get to Tuchanka. Bro, if they find out he's dead, like there's no way if they find out that you updated the genophage, especially knowing that they were actually getting past it if they were I don't know if they actually knew you guys knew that they were evolving past the genophage but they didn't and if they find out I wouldn't doubt for a second that they, they would take him out I'll do what I can we don't have time for this I'll do what I can we'll go to Tachanka and see if we can find your team member appreciate it my assistant my student want to see him safe Malin last seen outside Erdnot territory. Scouts might have seen Blood Pack. Talk to them or Clan Chief. Blood Pack. Erdnot. Blood Pack. Oh boy. All right, this is gonna be a whole thing. I think we got all the upgrades we could, though. Tempting. Okay. Um, we need... I can afford this, I just need another damage upgrade. This, we need a lot more platinum. So, the next time we can scan a planet, platinum. And then, a lot more palladium. But we also need another damage protection upgrade, so that's gonna have to wait anyway. That needs a tech upgrade. So this we just need the Platinum for. So, once we get more Platinum, we can actually get that upgrade and be good, better. No messages for you, Commander. Oh. Thanks, saving me time. Look at that. <laughs> okay. I want to see at the Fuel Depot how many... So we do have 60. It is 60 now. buy these okay okay so I know we could do like we take the mass relays right but these going to the edge rings are these different 
Like, are these different than taking the mass relays? That's what I'm curious about. So I'm kind of just going to drive out of it, fly out of it. Does this mean we can kind of, like, roam? So it's like an option between, like... Nope, this is different. This is different. Oh, shit. Oh, my God. <laughs> so... So using the mass relays jumps us to like this, right? But we can't j mass relay jump to these. I believe? I've been wondering like this whole time, like we only we did this like once, right? We used the fuel. Does it just waste a bunch right there? Um, but we haven't really done it again. Damn, there's all these other systems within. Oh my god, there's so much shit we didn't do. <laughs> there's so much shit still to see. Wow. Okay. Damn. Well, I'm gonna look at these, and then we'll do the probing. We'll do the probe. We'll, we'll probe them all later. <laughs> right. Nepim. Nepima. Tidally locked to the star Zeline. Zelene. Nepima. As the expected hot pole and cold pole. Along the Terminator is a thin band of nearly inhabitable, nearly habitable, sorry, nearly habitable terrain. Unfortunately, the local biosphere is based on a chlorinated oxygen atmosphere. It is not sophisticated, but it has proven highly dangerous. The Asari Surveyor Viralis, or Viralis, Viralis landed on Nepima. <laughs> 1684 to study the local ecology unbeknownst to the crew a handful of native chlorine fixing microbes passed through biohazard screening and entered the ship oh shit Morales returned to the port of Nasparnalo on Ilium where the Nippermen <laughs> the Nepi <laughs> Nepimen Nepimen microbes escaped into a temperate environment with plentiful unused chlorine. Cor chlorine? 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 Maybe? The microbes devoured the chlorides in the earth as metabolic byproducts. They produce toxic polychlorinated biphenyls. Biphenyls? <laughs> By the time the infestation was contained, an area of nearly 30 square kilometers had been effectively turned into a toxic waste dump. Nos Parnalo had to be abandoned, accelerating the development of Nos Astra. That's an interesting development. Oh, it has a little bit of cool lore. God damn. So literally, by them... By this group of Asari visiting this place, they picked up an organism, essentially, and um, basically brought it back. And because of how that organism survives, <laughs> right, like the microbes, um, it essentially just thrived and completely obliterated. That was Parn Parnalo. Damn. That's nuts. So I don't think you know it, it was mentioned that there's like um like some of these places can have like hidden like hidden missions, stuff like that that we can find. Launched. I think if we start scanning would it do like the all direction thing? We'll find I'll figure it out. Obviously. But probe away. Just wanna know if not a whole lot of platinum. Get the palladium. Probe launched. 
So I don't want to do a whole bunch of scanning. When we could be... Like, obviously, I can come back and do all the probing. Right, that's literally not a problem. But... Launching probe. Yeah. We'll come back, we'll come back to finish this. Come back to finish this. Um, right? Uh, I think... Sure we do. Um, I think... Let's go, because I don't want to... I don't want this whole thing to be just a bunch of reading. It... it completely. Right? Um, yet. Yet. You are reserves at 50%. Seems so. All right, boom. Okay, let's go. Let's go get. Let's go recruit Samara, and then, 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 then we're gonna go around, and <laughs> then we're gonna go around and look at the other systems and planets and kind of see where we're at. Oh, um, I don't know. I imagine we're gonna have to talk to Tim after this, right? Because this is the last dossier. So I know maybe we don't talk to him yet. Maybe we do. I don't know. We're going to figure that out when we get there. But we have a lot of crew. We're only missing two people, and one of them is Samara. So there's another one. There's another one we don't know about. Interesting. <laughs> anyway. So, for this one. I kinda, kinda want to bring Tally. I'm not sure why I want to bring her, but I do. <laughs> and I want to bring Thane, just because I want to have a mission with Thane. God, such a cool helmet. Okay. Um, Yeah, I'm going to save my squad points to, like, boost operative to our, um, evolution. Tally. Need to get some more levels in you. Drill Assassin. Throw. Warp Shredder Ammo. Oh, shit. That just seems great. That makes sense. Like, he's an assassin. Like, his whole... Shredded ammo, yeah. Drill assassin increases things: combat skills, weapon damage, and health. Health, weapon damage, right? And then he evolves into a marksman or a veteran. Weapon damage or his health. But he has warp too. Rips enemies apart at the molecular level. Stops health regeneration. Effective against armor and biotic barriers. Okay, so I need rank 2 to get warp. <sighs> okay. And then... We can't... We're not going to worry about this until we get whatever his loyalty mission is. Um, so right now... We're doing 400 detonation, for, detonation force. And 120. Bumps that up to 140. Do that. So it it is really cool. He's got throw and warp. That's fascinating. I do want to bump that though. <laughs> All right, what are we looking at? Marksman and veteran. So fifteen percent health, plus fifty percent damage, plus twenty percent health, thirty seven percent damage. It's only a five percent health difference, right? But the weapon damage difference is 12 and a half. It's a big bump. I think we're gonna go for marksman. I feel I feel good about that one. Okay. Okay. Damn, this armor is wild. Shit. I know it's gonna be it's gonna show up in the in the cutscenes. 
That might be that might actually look pretty cool. Honestly. Coming up later today, we release our annual list of Ilium's ten richest people. Are the heavens still bright as sorry blue? Or have the volus finally rolled to the top? And don't miss our look at the fashion faux pas at the Commerce Awards held last week. All these short sell on prefabs after these human colony attacks. There's just so much happening here. Like, you could just sit here and listen to the loudspeaker and then everyone kind of just, like, talk. And there's just, like, so much. So much they put here. It's... It's... Really... It's really cool. Okay, so I need to get... To the taxi stand. So, that was... Going through this way. I believe this was the fastest one. Listen, I know that oh, we could talk. Vital to the Kurosa family. The San Adantius didn't give us time to pass. I'm lucky I got out at all. Her mercenaries were starting to shoot. If she lets us back in, I'll get it. I promise. If not, well, we'll just have to hope. I wonder. What is it? I'm in the middle of an important call. Okay, all right. You want to see this? I found your data. Found your da you want to see this? This might be worth putting your family on hold. Here's that data you were worried about. Is that the Carosa Generational Archive? Oh, I am so sorry for being rude. My whole family has been worried. That data is irreplaceable. I didn't think I'd get it back from Nasana's corporate building. Hey, you know, just happened to be there. Why were there no backups? Why does this matter? Why is this data so important anyway? It's a genetic history for the entire Carosa family. It's used for high-level reproductive negotiations. It would be like a human pedigree, I suppose. Without it, you're bargaining from a greatly weakened position. Damn. Losing this would have hurt my family for generations, maybe even destroyed it. That's a kind of wild concept. Interesting. So it's basically... The fact that he compared it to, like, a human pedigree, that's... Such an interesting negotiation. Like, you would bring that to a negotiation. If this data is so important, why didn't you have backups? We did. A rival family introduced a computer virus, and our techs were sloppy. The virus destroyed all our data. I Damn. just spent a fortune getting the data recovered and reconstructed when Nasana went crazy. We live in a world of infinite data redundancy. To lose something so important because of one crazy Asari? <laughs> That, I mean, that is wild, right? The fact that you were... Damn. Well, shit, lucky that I paid attention, and lucky that I happened to be there. <laughs> There's your data. I hope it helps your family. You have no idea, human. I, I don't know who you are or how you got it, but thank you. Here, for your trouble. Blessings be upon you. You've certainly blessed us. Hey. Hell yeah. Sweet. 1,500 bucks. Let's go. It's so interesting hearing him talk in the helmet with this, but... It's not as Tired weird as I thought it would be. Employees only to lose them to your competitors? Perhaps Indenture Tech can help. The leading provider of cutting-edge indentured service, Indenture Tech can I don't know, that still sounds like an awful thing to legalize. All the dangers are right there on the package. It's legally required. To your employees Ooh, for too them. long. Shouldn't so consider the, the way, way to weed out to people too stupid to know their limits. Sorry, I was just, like everyone was talking at the same time. They talked the rod speaker was talking about indentured servitude, and that sounded really interesting on how that conversation was gonna go. And then they started talking. <laughs> God damn. Sometimes you say these things and I don't know. Maybe it's because you had a Batarian father. Wow, you're pulling that on me? My father was an excellent caretaker. And you're you're the word you're looking for is pure blood. Damn. Shit. Oh wait. This is one of the terminals. Oh god. Oh god, I actually have to ha So so wait, can I, I can actually screw this up? That's stressful. Okay. 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 Okay, just 
focus. It's all. It's fine. We've done way work. We've done way harder than this. Just about paying attention. Just like that. One down. Oh God. You know, Irinya won't even talk to the non-Asari customers. Shit, shit, shit. It's like she's turned pure blood into her religion or something. Oh, oh. I heard she oh God. <laughs> right. I'm sure she was a pleasure to deal with Fuck. before that. Okay. So that's what we're doing. We hack those, and then I have to find something like that. Right? Is that the idea? We hack that, which makes it we, and then we come over here, we upload the data. Okay. That seems fine. Seems totally, totally fine. That's totally doable. Got this. She's the last of a dying breed. Won't be many pure blood Asari left in a few generations. I feel kind of sad for her. Don't. I heard she married an Asari herself. Had pure blood kids. She's part of the problem. So sad. Damn. We did. We did meet the kids, though. I find that to be actually really fascinating. Yeah, also kind of also sad it's that they're gone. We're looking for okay, weapons. it's over there. Shouldn't you be taking this seriously? Hey, I'm 60 okay, years old. Okay, we're gonna try this. We can do this. And Eclipse girls never lack fur. <sighs> okay. You could get killed. What about you? I'm almost 20. My genetic stats are average, and my clan has little political power. For a good reproduction contract, I'll need money. Um. That one. Okay. Okay. Shit. Bam. No! I'm an idiot. I'm a fool. Okay. We we only missed one. That's fine. That's that's fine. Eclipse fine. might be fun. I'm hoping I'm right and this is actually the terminal. <laughs> you have blossomed in a tower. Oh sweet. Glass, what beauty under glass okay. Where are right. your honored dead? Nice. To fertilize the ground that you might grow strong. <sighs> okay, so we got two down. We hacked two terminals. There's a few left. Buy this fish. We can afford the fish now. Excellent. Wait, is there another? <gasps> There's another one. You're sure oh, your weapons here. and armor are good enough for Eclipse? I do want these. These are really expensive. My god. Come back for those. Yeah, I've got a friend in Okay, if we can hack this, where's the where could get... this other good. one possibly be? Good at bypassing firewalls. Maybe they're looking I can't for imagine pets. it's the same in one, is it? What about you? I kind of want to try scope make it around for I Why not? Every Asari has fucking might as well use them, right? Start it and then panic. Damn, that's a hell of a snack. I'm telling you, relax. Thax will never notice a few missing pieces. No, I can't get in. Because it's a crime scene. It's all locked down. Eclipse mercs, some just a car, I don't know. Nobody is ever going to see the extra merchandise, which is why we're going to be rich. Suspicious. Okay. We're gonna hack this one. It's just we're just gonna we're see how it goes. Weapons. Shouldn't you be taking this seriously? Okay. Hey, I'm 60 years old and finally out of my parents' house. And okay. girls never lack for um, company. This one? You could get killed. What about you? Okay. I'm almost 20. Um, stats are average. A little bit of blue at the top. There we go. For a good then... Contract, I'll need money. This? Yes. Okay. <laughs> oh, it's really far away. Blue rose of alien. Leave eternity unembraced. In the glorious struggle that is us. Is it gonna be this one? Pure bloods are a waste of genetic potential. That's how we get throwbacks. Oh no, it's this one. Okay. Shepard, this is Liara. I've got the data. Come see me when you've got a moment. We did it. We did it. Oh shit. Okay. Okay, that was easy. That was great. That went so much better than I thought it was gonna go. That's cool. Okay. Sick. Hey, right. we're friends. I have never called you that. 
No, but you're thinking about God it. Goddamn. You think it was easy growing up pure blood? Okay, so we to get away from the taunts. We we hacked it, we gave her the stuff. This is good. And we'll talk to her after. After this. I'm on a call. Uh-huh. I'm on a call. Okay, whatever. Jeez. Okay, so you weren't who we were supposed to talk to. Who's our Go to the transportation hub. Tracking officer Dara. Oh, so she might be at the desk actually. Yeah. Go up here. Yeah. <laughs> Damn. She was talking, so she's doing some shady stuff. Yeah, okay. Can I help you with something? I'm there looking we go. for an Asari warrior named Samara. Wait, why? Do you have a problem or did she kill somebody already? <laughs> already? What do you mean? I only want to talk. So what if she did? I have no idea. Just tell me where she is. If you insist, but fair warning, watch yourself around Samara. Justicars have a nasty habit of shooting people. She went to the commercial spaceport a few hours ago. If you want to get there, the pedestal on that balcony will summon a cab. Just be polite when you meet her. Justicars embody our highest laws, and they usually stay in Asari space. She's not used to dealing with aliens. Interesting. Okay. Where's but our highest law. So this is going to be basically like like as close to dealing with like a real matriarch. Like we had Benezia who was like a matriarch but she was kind of like mind controlled so we didn't really get like a, f a real interaction with a matriarch. Not really. Right? So this is essentially as close as we're going to get to something like like that. So this is going to be interesting. Is Samara really that dangerous? If you follow the laws, you've got nothing to fear. And a Justicar would die without hesitation to protect the innocent. But their code orders them to stop lawbreakers, with lethal force in most cases. And everyone skirts the law somehow on Ilium. If someone tried to bribe her, she'd be obliged to gun them down as a matter of honor. I'm hoping to avoid that. Shit. Try to bribe her? She, she could kill you. And be, they would, they should be rewarded for it. Why are you worried about other species coming into contact with her? If a Justicar kills an Asari, none of us questions it. But if she killed a human, do you think the Alliance would understand her actions and respect her authority? You can't even figure out your own religions. It's a big diplomatic incident just <laughs> waiting to happen. Shit. Why is that right? Why is that why does that actually make some sense? Fuck. <laughs> it's a big diplomatic incident just waiting to happen. Okay, so there's a lot of pressure going into this. A lot of pressure. <laughs> Tell me about the Justicars. They're a monastic order. They've given up their families and possessions to follow their code. Most of them are on some lifelong mission, but they'll always stop to deal with any injustice they encounter, which can be a problem. In some ways, they're a lot like the Spectres, undertaking personal missions. That is a really... It's actually a really good comparison. Huh. So they, they go around, they have a mission, right? But they, they also... They will also fight injustice at every chance they can. Spectres are authorized by the Council. Who do Justicars represent? What? That's, like... I don't know a good human metaphor. They represent their code, our code. It's closer to a religious group than a legal branch. No law-abiding Asari would question a Justicar's orders. Nobody becomes a Justicar <laughs> for personal gain. And they die before breaking their oaths. That's interesting. So nobody tells them what to do. Nobody is directly, like, in charge of them. When they become a Justicar, it is quite literally... They are upholding the code... They play by the code, and everyone else literally just goes with it because they, because of that position. Because if you question them, you're questioning the code, and nobody questions the code. Interesting, though. Is Samara really that dangerous? If you follow the laws, you've got nothing to fear, and a Justicar would die without hesitation but. to protect the innocent. 
but their code orders them to stop lawbreakers. That's with really interesting. force in most cases. If someone tried to bribe her, she'd be obliged to gun them down as a matter of honor. I'm hoping I wanted, to avoid that. I wanted to hear it again, because that's fascinating. So, so they have like their own thing they have going on, but they also abide by the code, right? But at the same time, they also fight injustice. That's wild. I'm looking for Samara. Like I said, she's at the commercial spaceport. You can hail a cab at the pedestal on that balcony over there. Okay. Appreciate the insight. Let's go talk to a... Let's go talk to a Justicar. This is gonna be interesting. Hmm. I don't... I don't know the best people to take. Right? If I had the option, I would have taken... I would taken uh, Liara, but uh, we don't have Liara as an option, which is sad, but kind of going to take Tali and Thane. I feel like it's, just, it's like an interesting dynamic. But maybe Garrus. I do Garrus a lot, right? I, I always take him. But his insight, whenever it comes to like the the uh, the Krogan or the Asari is interesting, so I imagine it would be interesting. God damn it. I'm gonna, I'm gonna do this. I'm gonna do this. I'm gonna commit to it. It could be interesting. This could be interesting. So. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Give him the Viper. Give him better stuff. Okay. All right. Where do you think you're going? I'm taking my goods to Omega, Detective. You're not going anywhere, Merchant. Not until I solve this murder. I had nothing to do with that. It was those mercenary thugs you can't seem to get rid of. The victim was your business partner, and I'm not ruling you out. I'll let you know when you can leave. What about that Justicar that just showed up? Everyone says she might go crazy and start killing. I need to leave. She'll only kill the unjust, so I'm sure you have nothing to worry about, Pitney Four. Find me in the station if you need me. Shit. We just stumble into like a crime scene. Investigation. God, it couldn't be a more intimidating armor to just like step out of a cab in. <laughs> like, shit. Police. Oh boy. This is interesting. There was a murder that happened. What up? What do you want? I've already got mercs wanting to kill me like they did my partner. I don't need any more trouble. As if that weren't enough, some Asari Justicar showed up this morning. All the natives are scared of her. I've got to get off of this world. <laughs> All the natives are scared of her. What if she only... Oh, it's because everyone's shady here. I mean, yeah. And where she is, why is everyone nervous? Has Samara actually done anything yet? The Asari say that Justicars are lethal in a fight. And if they so much as smell corruption, they start shooting. The thing is, corruption isn't that hard to find around here. Yeah, exactly what I was just thinking. Like, like they're only nervous because they're all doing some shit. That's probably... Not good. Tell me how to find the Justicar. She's in the alley where my business partner was murdered. A detective sealed the area, so you'll have to talk with her if you want to go there. Okay, cool. Crime details, murder motive, partner's murder. Let's see, what do you know? Why do you think it was mercenaries? 
Dakni Kerr was cutting through a back alley last night when someone killed him with a shotgun. I saw his body this morning. They'd used modded rounds. That means Eclipse Mercs. Ooh. You must know something about these Eclipse. I occasionally do business with them. But only in well-lit places. With my guards. And only after the creds clear. This is a scummy bunch, even by Merc standards. They sell red sand, all kinds of illegal item, and they are all cold-blooded killers. Jeez. Oof. So, okay, so these guys are some, some real next level shit. Why would these Mercs kill him? And why do you think they're coming after you too? I have no idea. We're innocent merchants. But they killed him, so they must be after me, too. I have to work the angles and get out of here. But just because they killed him doesn't mean they're after you, unless you know what he was doing and you were involved in. That's the only thing. This is interesting. We have stumbled into an investigation. What a... What an interesting... Like, it's different. It's different than the others that we've... The other missions that we've done. You don't seem too broken up about your partner's death. Dakni Kerr knew the risks when he took to spacing. Right now, my worry is me. It's unhealthy to be a Volus in the Nosastra spaceport right now. Especially a Volus named Pitney 4. Right, Pitney 4. You are very... You're very concerned. Obviously, you're the closest person to him, so it makes sense that you might be another target. Not just for the investigation, but for the mercs. But... When... I feel like if they wanted to, they would have taken him out already. I should go. Unless they don't want to take him out. So they're deliberately leaving him alive. Hello. Interesting. So cool. Okay, anyway. What else can we see? Hmm. Any signs of murder? Not over here. Just over in the crime scene. <laughs> Cops don't admit it, but the Eclipse Sisters run this area. The Eclipse Sisters? I hear you can buy red sand from the Eclipse. Just don't cross them. Cops don't admit it, but the Eclipse Sisters run this area. Get a... Get a bump of red sand. Just don't piss them off. I wanted to be a Justicar when I was young. Every Asari does, I guess. I don't trust that Volus. There's something about him. I mean, he's sketched out. Right? Which just gives the, the concern vibe because he doesn't... He's not really saying why he's sketched other than his partner was killed. And it's like, yeah, but like... If they were after him, why would you be worried? I wanted to be a Justicar when I was young. Every Asari does, I guess. Damn. I think I'm full on... full on meta jump, so I'll leave that. I'll leave that for later. Detective Anaya. We got, ooh, weapons locker. These guys are hanging out. Do we talk to the detective first? Or do we go to the crime scene first? Okay. Kind of want to go look at the crime scene then. We're supposed to talk to her. Just want to scope it out. See what we're looking at. Probably not going to get far, but... Nothing to see here. Move along. Uh-huh. Shipping details. I can just walk right through, huh? I just, I just need to, I just need to, I just need to, I just need, just need, I can read it from here. 
Damn it. Okay, let's talk to the detective. Because that's where we're going to get our info. They think that the Justicar did it, but if the Justicar did do it, then isn't it fine? Not fine, you know what I mean, but... Hmm. If she, if Samara did kill the guy, then there was clearly a motive for it. And so... Huh. Anyway, interesting. Nice guns. Try not to use them in my district. What can I do for you? I'm looking for an Asari warrior named Samara. If you've got a score to settle with Samara, take it somewhere else. I've got more than enough trouble here already. Actually, I need her help. I don't need your permission. Uh. I need to find Samara and get back to my mission, with or without your help. Sounds important. Justicars usually work alone, but they are drawn to impossible causes. How convenient for us. If you're getting her out of my district, I'll get you to her ASAP. She's at the crime scene. <laughs> See? Look at that. That all worked out for everybody. You're letting her into a sealed crime scene? I'm a cop. I'll work with the Justicar all I can. Besides, she's been looking at crime scenes longer than our two lifespans combined. She knows how to handle herself. That... Yeah, that makes sense. She's been around. You're I'm a cop. Her she knows how to yeah. handle herself. You want to get rid of her? Why are you telling... Why? Are, what aren't you telling me? You're awfully anxious to get Samara out of your district. My bosses want me to detain her. They're worried she'll cause some kind of cross-species incident. But her Justicar code won't let her be taken into custody. If I try it, she'll have to kill me. I have no interest in dying, so if you lure her away with some big noble cause before I have to carry out my orders, I'm thrilled to help you. Oh, that's interesting. How funny. Wow, so... They want... They want Anaya to... <laughs> to arrest her. But her code says she can't be... She's not to be detained. So... <laughs> or arrested, right? So, she will kill her. And technically be in the right. As far as her code is concerned. I don't know how the law is going to work with that. But... Well, if she kills her and then they still try to arrest her, then she's still justified by the code to kill anyone trying to detain her. So it would be this whole thing. Yeah, I can... Okay. Yeah, probably for the best that you're kind of trying to take your time. Don't follow that order. Smart sounds unprincipled. <laughs> yeah, don't follow that order. Your superiors are sending you to certain death for no good reason. You have a right to disobey. Let's remember that next time Shepard sets us up against impossible odds. That's about twice a day. God damn it. Listen here. Okay, both of you, stop. Alright, it's not... <sighs> Name five examples. Name five, re five times that I have done that to us. I don't think you could. Alright. My reasons are good. This is serious. <laughs> Most of the time I'm not being stupid about it. I can't say the same for Anaya's superiors. I'm a cop and I know my duty. I've been ordered to detain her and I will. Unless I can get her to leave my district first. Alright. She sounds unprincipled. Samara would kill a cop? That doesn't sound very just. She would die defending an honest cop, but she'd fight an army of dirty cops to the death. I admire her dedication, but her presence is still a big problem. I need her gone before I have to carry out my orders. Oh, don't worry. You just point me in the direction. How do I get to the crime scene? It's around the corner. Go outside, take a left. Look for the police line. I'll send word to let you in. Be careful. The local Eclipse Mercs have been all over those back alleys lately. <laughs> Sick. So we're going to go in there. Trying to look for her. Or we're going to have to probably shoot our way through a bunch of uh, mercenaries. You mentioned a crime scene. A Volus merchant was murdered. It was a professional hit, so we're not dealing with junkies looking for a score. I'm thinking the local Eclipse mercenary band. Can't prove it. But if the Volus was dirty too, maybe it's just a deal gone bad. Like, maybe, but... Isn't... Hmm. What do I need to know about these mercenaries? Eclipse mercs are professional killers. 
They sell red sand, trade illegal weapons tech, and smuggle criminals off-world. They control some back alleys around here. I haven't been able to find their nest yet, though. Not yet. What can you tell me about Justicars? They're a kind of... Humans might call them warrior monks. They live by a complex code that compels them to punish the wicked and protect the pure. They've been a part of Asari culture for millennia. I read adventure stories about Justicars when I was a child. That's... kind of badass, though. Like... Like, the, what they what they are. What do you think of Samara herself? She's been a Justicar longer than three of your lifespans. Whoever she was before she swore that oath, that person is dead. Shit. She's different now. People seem nervous about Samara's presence. Asari admire Justicars. But we also know that they kill without mercy when they find corruption. And Justicars never leave Asari space. Why is she here? I doubt it's to investigate the murder of some corrupt volas. Right? Because... It's like she could, right? It's like, yeah, she sees it like, oh, it's, maybe there's some shady shit, but it's like, so... Does she go out of her way? I have to go. It's gotta be... Good luck. So We'd better something. find Samara before the detective goes after her. That's the plan. But I don't know. There's got to be something bigger that we don't know yet. And whatever these these Volus partners were up to with the Eclipse, it's definitely some shit. Shipping details. Area. Let's consider this extra stock surplus. Ship the rest of Fax at his normal destination. He'll never miss a few lost pieces. Interesting. The Asari at the taxi area brought up that fax name also. Curious. Return to Ilium and see what happens as a result of informing Mr. Fax about the stolen kids. Oh, we can... We can tattle. We can... <laughs> we can rat him out. To Mr. Fax. Okay, draw my weapon right away. Suspicious. So like several feet in the crime scene. Ooh. Hell yeah. Okay, everyone stay alert. Stay. Mm. Okay, let's see, what do we got? So, drone, yes, and you do warp and throw. I kind of, mm. <sighs> Throw, if we freeze them and throw them, that could be, that'd be kind of neat. Oh god. Alright, cool. Cover. When I... Sisterhood initiate. Oh. Go now to the sea. Go now to the sea. Alright, that's kinda cool. Is this the drone? Is this the little drone? It is. That's cool. <laughs> Hell yeah. Oh, God. Hello? Those were my best troops. Eclipse Lieutenant, oh shit. Tell me what Hello? I need to know, and I will be gone from here. Hello? Where did you send her? You think I'd betray her? She would hurt me in ways you can't imagine. The name of the ship. Your life hangs on the answer, Lieutenant. You can kill me, but one of us will take you down, Justicar. 
shit. God damn. What was the name of the ship she left on? Fuck. Find peace in the embrace of the goddess. Okay. Total badass. My name is Samara, a servant of the Justicar Code. <laughs> My quarrel is with these Eclipse sisters, but I see three well-armed people before me. Uh-huh. Are we friend or foe? We could be good friends. You killed in cold blood. We know that... <sighs> She's really cool. <laughs> Goddamn. That was fucking badass. So she is incredibly... Well, obviously, right? <laughs> like, biotic abilities. But the way she went about it, right? That Merc was wounded and helpless. Do you just kill anyone who won't help you? If my cause is important enough, yes. Are you different? <sighs> Not really. <laughs> uh... Yes. Yes, I am. I... Mm. <clears throat> it's not very... Have have I killed an, somebody who's def... Look, we all make decisions, and those decisions lead to results, and the results are really what we're after. You know, to question the methods... You know, you're right. I'm... Who am I? Not really. I can't say that I am. That is something we share. You are honest. That is another. How may I be of service to you? <sighs> cool. <laughs> I need you on my team, taking on the collectors. Uh, I want to need you on a team, but that's not... That doesn't seem as urgent as this. This seems more of... Like, hey. Hey. <laughs> Um I need you to help me take down the collectors. That's the, the one. The collectors are a worthy foe. I would relish testing myself against them. But I seek an incredibly dangerous fugitive. I cornered her here, but the Eclipse sisters smuggled her off world. I must find the name of the ship she left on before the trail goes cold. I wish you were willing to go with the human, Justicar. I've been ordered to take you into custody if you won't leave. You risk a great deal by following your orders, Detective. Fortunately, I will not have to resist. My code obligates me to cooperate with you for one day. After that, I must return to my investigation. Oh. I won't be able to release you that soon. You won't be able to stop me. <laughs> Shit. God. Such a fucking cool response. God damn. So I won't be able to... I'm not going to be able to release you that soon. Well, you're not going to be able to stop me. Fuck. Samara. Uh, the human is lost here. Can one of you clarify? <laughs> I was trying to convince her to leave with you, but just a car is in their code. The detective has been ordered to detain me. I can't force her to disobey an order. And after one day, Samara fights her way out of custody, killing anyone in her way. I am afraid so. <laughs> oh, she's so confident in it. It's so fucking it's wild. She's like, I'm afraid so. I will have to kill everybody in my way to get out. Because that's what I have to do. Maybe I can help. Let's make a deal. There must be some way we can all get what we need. I see a way. While I am in custody, you find the name of that ship. Do that and I will join you. Then the code will be satisfied. Huh. Just like that. Okay. Interesting. Can you tell me more about Justicars? We are individuals who have forsworn family, children, and worldly possessions aside from some weapons and armor. We travel a sorry space righting wrongs as defined by the ancient code we have each memorized. Interesting. Memorized. That's wild. Ilium may be dominated by Asari, but it isn't in Asari space. My quarry fled to this place. I am sworn to hunt her down, and I will follow anywhere she goes. 
It is rare for a Justicar to leave Asari space, but I must follow my oath. If I suffer for it, I will accept that. This is really interesting. This whole Justicar thing? A moment ago you refused to give up your investigation, but now you'll swear to follow me? If I stay, I will be compelled to kill many innocents to escape incarceration. Like me. I may be killed, and my quarry would be free to continue murdering. If I come with you and survive your mission, I can resume my investigation. To do that, I need the ship's name to track her to her next hiding place. It is a simple choice. A slim chance is better than no chance. True right, brother. This Justicar code seems quite strict. It may seem so to you, but this is my oath. The expedient path may be fast and simple. That does not make it the right path. Hmm. I mean, that makes sense. I mean, it's a good way, like, just because there's a, a faster, right? A faster, simpler way to get things done doesn't mean that's the right way to do it. Do you have any leads? The Volus merchant Pitney Four is tied to this. Eclipse mercs are preparing to kill him. They are preparing to kill him. Get the truth out of him. He may know a way into the Eclipse base. Well, I've got to get back to my station. And I guess I've got to take you with me. Thank you, Shepard. Oh, thank, th thank you. <laughs> hmm. Fascinating. So, Samara. Whew. Goddamn. So, she's willingly going into custody. She's going to be held there. It's going to be cool. We are picking up this investigation. We're going to go find this whole thing, and then that's basically going to, like, everything's going to be evened out. Everything's going to be fine. It's going to be cool. Everything's good. Right? So we just got to find the name of the ship, and then go from there. And the fact that they are planning on killing him. I was like, it's weird if they weren't or they choose not to, right? But the fact that she knows that they are planning to take him out, it's fascinating, which is, makes sense why he's trying to leave. Right? It all, it all makes sense. It's all coming again. Hello again, Earth Clan. Did you speak to the detective? You lied, you piece of shit. You said you didn't know anything about all this. You've got one chance to change that statement. What do you mean, Earth Clan? Oh dear, <laughs> please put that away. I'll be cooperative, I swear. Hey, fuck Tell him. me everything. I smuggled a chemical onto Ilium that boosts biotic powers in combat. It also is toxic. Wow. I may have, um, forgotten to mention that to the Eclipse, so they are perturbed and want to kill me. God, you're a fucking idiot. Holy shit. So, so he tries to pull a fast one on the Eclipse. Literally sells it like, yeah, you're gonna be, your biotic powers boosted, juiced up. However, it will kill you, probably. It's, it's toxic, it's gonna hurt. However, he omitted that. They found out and are getting their their revenge <laughs> fuck and then he didn't say shit he's trying to get out but he doesn't want to be he doesn't want to admit to anything it's so shady it sounds like you're a swindler and your actions finally caught up with you true true and true but I haven't survived as a merchant this long without being able to tell when there's a deal in the making you want something. Yeah, I want two things, actually. But... This. Hmm. So his whole thing is like, oh, there's a deal, though. And that was the goal. Even if it backfired. <laughs> Stupid. I need a ship name. Get me into their base. The Eclipse recently smuggled someone off-world. I need the name of the ship she left on. I don't know about their people smuggling operations. They must keep records in their base. I do have a pass card they issued me to bring my goods in. Well, I, I had to return that one, but I happened to make a copy. 
<laughs> Take it, but be careful. Each Eclipse sister commits a murder to earn her uniform. They are all dangerous. I fucking hope so. Be too easy otherwise. Right? I love that. Fuck you. <laughs> full, 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 full renegade against this dude. I love the, the knuckle cracking, the pulling the gun on him. It was great. <laughs> Hell yeah. So. So we have to get into their base. We now have access to their base. Oh, this is an elevator. That was locked before. Um, so we have the card. We can get into their base. Their base might will have records of the ship name. And by having access to the base, it's also what she wanted to know. Talk to both of them. Oh, you're just chilling. Find a way into the Eclipse hideout. Wasea, their leader, must have a record of the ship name. Yep. Find a way into the Eclipse hideout. Wasea, their leader, must have a record of the ship name. Okay. Wasea. Please don't start trouble about my prisoner. Trust me, I'd release her right now if I could. It's a great honor to have a Justicar here, but I could do without the honor of having her kill me. <laughs> I'd like to avoid killing you, Detective. Unfortunately, the moment my code dictates I must... I will. There is only the code. She says this kind of thing like she's talking about what to eat for dinner. It's kind of... Yeah. The way she talks is very nonchalant about it. Which I guess is the way that it is, right? It's just like... It's just It just is, right? It, it is what it is. She, just the way of life. You're not gonna lock her up? Any attempt to put me in a passive restraint system will be regarded as a hostile action, and I will be forced to attack. Yeah, that. Yeah, that. That's the one. <laughs> Alright. Oh, hello. <laughs> Damn. Alright. Anything over here? Before we take that elevator. Anything hiding? No? Okay. This is going to be interesting. Especially if the hideout was, like, really nearby. Just hanging out so close to the police station. Mm-mm-mm. So, the Eclipse hideout. And it's just us, so we don't have Samara backing us up or getting involved. So. Look ahead! Oh. Shit. Alright. Okay. Power squad. Anything over here? No? Okay. Okay, we're we're gonna just we're just punching through. <laughs> I'll tear you apart! Oh. Ooh. <laughs> Shit. Wait, toxic guys will boost your party's biotics, but max to it. Shit. God damn it's because of this fucking Pitney fucking piece of shit. <laughs> Does it go Does it go away? Or do I just have to like run through it? I'm gonna have to run through it, aren't I? Shit. Okay. I just gotta be just gotta be smart. <laughs> Oof. Oh god. Hostile spotted. Oh, okay. Target has flow. Oh. Bam. Oh god. Matter. Shit. Oh. Combat flow. Eclipse forever. Okay. I lost contact. Come on, bitch. There we go. Oh, perfect shot. Perfect shot for all of us. Oh, okay, I was trying to run. There we go. Shit, 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 shit. Oh god, no. Fuck. Okay, well, this seems like a good idea. Weakening their integrity! 
Yeah. <laughs> That's pretty good. That's right. Get wrecked. Oh, it didn't switch. There we go. No? Hello? There we go. Okay. Watch out for the poison. Deploying combat drone. Nice. That drone's really useful. <laughs> God damn. Okay. Alright, run through the toxic. The toxins. Damn. Okay. Change the loadout. Ooh. Scimitar assault shotgun. Hell yeah. Yep, I was gonna say. Tali and Grunt. But Grunt's got his own. So. Scimitar assault shotgun acquired. The following squad members can now use it. <gasps> Wait. That means I can. This is right here. So this is this one. An elite military shotgun capable of rapid fire. This weapon is deadly at short range, ineffective at long range, effective against shields and biotic barriers, but weak against armor. Very cool. Sweet. I think she already equipped it when we picked it up, but I'm glad we looked at it. Oh, God. oh hello? Oh god, don't do it. Don't be dumb. It's real stupid. Wait, stop! <laughs> I didn't fire my weapon once. I pretended to because the other Eclipse sisters were watching, but I didn't really shoot. I'm not one of them. I'm new! I thought being Elnor the mercenary would be cool, but I didn't know what they were really like. You chose your side, Elnora. And you lost. Screw that bastard and screw you! Oh my god. Oh shit. <laughs> god damn. Part of me kind of felt bad, because it's like... Maybe she did join with the group and was like, oh god, I didn't think these mercenaries were gonna be bad. Like, that bad. You know? But it's also kind of like... I don't know. And then the second we're like, yeah, you fucked up. She's like, oh hell, I don't know. <laughs> now what's this? <gasps> we got it. Which means we can get the upgrade now on the ship. We have the resources. This is good. Shit. Uh, sorry. Sorry, sorry. We've been spotted. Oh. <laughs> Shit. I don't want to blow up the toxin. I'm trying to avoid that so we don't have to deal with it. Best avoided. Yeah, we, this was such a good team to bring. Like, to be perfectly fair, this was great. <laughs> okay, um, let's do... Oh, shit, I missed. <laughs> oh, embarrassing. Got one. Oh. That's the way it goes. Shit. Oh my god. They've seen us. I'll tear you apart. One falls. Okay. 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 It's going good. It's going great.
Is that a medical station? Ooh. Ooh. Okay. Bam. Then we need this one? Yes. And that one. Oh, easy. Easy. Super easy. 3,000 credits. Okay, so they, they really... They were really close to the police station. Just operating right under their nose. Oh. Shit. Get ready to fight. Okay. We're good. We're good. It's all about focusing. Oof. Just like that. <laughs> nice targeting. Thanks, buddy. Oh, God. <laughs> that was... Fucking... Oh, my... Jesus. Just walking right into it. Alright. We cool? Cool, cool, cool. Super cool. Neat. Can I... Can I jump over this? No. Okay. Maybe they can go through that door. Maybe not. I don't know if there's anything over there. Clips terminal. 6,000. Let's go. Cash. Alright, we're good. Yeah, okay. Well, I haven't... I used the one, so I guess that was a good idea to get that back. I'm good to go! Yeah. Ma'am? Nope. Settle down. Oh, <laughs> uh, yeah, that's the way it goes. Engaging hostiles! I need targeting assistance! Oh. Just. God. God damn. Gunship? Bruh. Come on. Stop. Really? <laughs> Fuck. Alright. Alright, guys. Refined palladium. Excellent. Oh, God. We really gotta take out that gunship, huh? Oh. Suckers. trying. They're fucking trying. Luckily, we are vastly more tactical. Oh, they're gone. Oof. Did it go? This Shit, softened them up. Okay. Okay. You're behind there. I'll take you out. Perfect shot. Perfect. Shit. Nice. Good job, guys. Um, let's do. Okay, so we don't actually need that. Let's switch this back over real quick. Mind over power. Okay. Shit. Oh. Damn it. <laughs> My aim is really whack today. They're still dying. Just not as fantastically. Okay, so that gunship bounced. Maybe that's a good thing. Maybe we... Yeah, it means we don't got to deal with it, actually. <laughs> Letting it go. We scared it away. Is there anything down there? Oh, it's just here. Okay. 
I don't want to miss anything if I can avoid it. Especially obvious stuff. Obvious stuff, embarrassing. But definitely... We got a new shotgun. That's great. Data file. Well, it's official. Little baby Elnora is finally a full-fledged Eclipse Merc. I earned my uniform last night when I killed that ridiculous Volus. A close exploding huh. rounds. Blew the little bastard's suit wide open. <laughs> I can't wait to see some real action. Next time I go home, my friends are going to be so jealous. Okay, so she's a fucking liar. That's what she is. Killer. You were right to be suspicious of her. Detective Anaya would be interested in this. Oh yeah, don't worry. I tag Captain. I'm keeping that. But no, that that was my whole point. Right? Was like, I kind of felt bad only if it was like real, but it was such it's such a fucking thin. It was such a thin lie to be like, I didn't actually know what I was doing. It's like, uh-huh, okay, yeah, sure. But the fact that she was the one who killed the... Killed, uh... Killed the... The Volus, that... It's like, shit, dude. You fucking... <laughs> yup. So now, now, my conscience couldn't be clear. <laughs> and then we all shot... We shot the shit out of her. Like... Like, goddamn, we blew her apart. Sensors activated. Oh. Nope. Yeah. One falls. What a. Everyone's using Max. Okay. got down here? Anyone? No? Did you learn your lesson? Back off. Stay out of it. Admit defeat. I will kill everyone here. Gun but in a good bomb. way. In a good for us way. Oh god. Oh god, they're all fragile crates, too. <laughs> Shit. <laughs> Shit. Okay. Crouch. Okay. Are they... They can't repair, though, right? Oh, I can't hit them that far. Oh my god. Jesus. You know what? This would have been a this would have been a good mission to um uh <laughs> to bring the the missile launcher. This would have been good. Effective against armor. Kind of want to save that because that's more about enemies. This is not good against armor. Yeah. Stop it. Stop it right now. <laughs> you knock it off. Tactical retreat. Okay. Okay, right, good. Good drone. Good. Good stuff. Jesus. Oh, there you go. Get wrecked, bitch. <laughs> Idiot. Oh, man, those last shots were stressing me out. Look at that, we didn't die. <laughs> Wasn't even an option. Super easy. Whew, not stressful at all. Not even. Alright, what do we got over here? Oh, medkit, great. Definitely needed that. Oh, interesting. Okay. Okay. This was this one. And then, so you are here. Perfect. Oh, 
Ooh, shipping manifest. This looks like a shipping manifest. It shows the Pitney 4 sold 2,000 units of Minigen X3 to the Eclipse, along with 600 units of red sand. This isn't the information Samara needs, but it proves the Volus is a criminal. I imagine Detective Anaya would be interested in this. We'll see. Let's go. We'll see. Let's worry about that after we find the ship name. I was gonna say, like, we still haven't found the ship name and I don't want to leave yet. I was worried the Let's Go might have just taken us back, but... Yeah, this vote Shady as shit! He's over here being like, I didn't do anything, guys. What do you mean? What? They killed him? No. That's crazy. Mm hmm. If to call. What? Okay. This is gonna be interesting. He's getting a fucking drink. He's getting. A, he's, he's just. We're catching him at the vending machine. Yeah. I am a biotic god. I think things, and they happen. Fear me, lesser creatures, for I am biotics made flesh. You're high. <laughs> Calm down. Settle down. Fuck. I don't know what drugs you're on, but stay back and I won't shoot you. You will regret your scandalous words. I am a great wind that will sweep all before me like a... A great wind. A great biotic wind. Oh. Yes, the Asari injecting so many drugs into me was terrifying. <laughs> but then I began to smell my greatness. Uh-huh. Smell my greatness. They may laugh when I fall over. But they don't know what I know in my head. That I know that I am amazingly powerful. Fear me! <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> Fear me! It's so stupid. My god, dude. Just. Jeez, where'd you come from? Where'd you come from, buddy? Where'd you. Where are you going? <laughs> are you part of Pitney Forest Trade Group? When I was mortal, I worked for Pitney. Poor soul is probably terrified that I have not returned. He hasn't reported your disappearance. Probably so his departure won't get delayed. I get the distinct impression Pitney prefers money to friends. But True. I will wreak a just revenge upon his people. But first, the leader of these mercenaries is in the next room. Ooh. I shall toss Wasaya about like a rag doll. Shepard, he can barely talk, much less fight. I will tear her apart. My biotics are unstoppable. You should lie down. <laughs> it just, it kills me. So like, he, is he, is he like actually, I don't actually think he is what he thinks he is, but I mean, he did kind of flex some biotic energy, but it's still like, I don't know if he's what he is. You should lie down. We're right behind you. If we do, he's gonna, he's gonna be killed like immediately, isn't he? You should lie down. I don't know. This sounds like it could be interesting. Charge. <laughs> An ill wind blows upon Wasea, captain of the Eclipse Sisters. After me! Yeah. <laughs> you go get him, buddy. We should have stopped him, Shepard. Why? What? I can't. St I can't tell a god what to do. <laughs> you know? Look, I know, and you're right. However. This is his destiny, and I... Who am I to stand in the way of it? This is what he wanted. 
Why would I stop him exacting his his vengeance? You know. That's the last of them. Oh. She cool. Oh god. Oh no. Oh shit. This is not even a desire. Yeah. Oh fuck. So nonchalant. She literally just like knocked him away like a fucking like a bug. Everything's gone to hell since we smuggled that filthy creature off world. First a Justicar shows up. Now you. Mm-hmm. At least I can take pleasure in turning your head into a pulpy mass. Oh god. Yeah, you get can ready to fight. Captain Wasaya. God, she's so they should she's actually kinda cool. <laughs> okay, but let's Let's do this right. Okay. One falls. Oh. Shit. There we go. Okay. Uh. Oof. Oh, go get it. I missed. Go <laughs> now. Shit. Okay. Okay, uh Go for the optics. Send out the boy. Go for the optics. I'll hold him. Shit. Got you. Excellent. Good. Yeah? Scared now? Some record of that ship must be around here. Scared to death. All have gone to Kalahira. <laughs> hey, where'd he go? He got like knocked across. He dead. He gone. Damn. <sighs> this is your god? Well, that's unfortunate. That sucks, dude. Well. She looked God dead in the eyes and tossed him across. Okay, hack the terminal, the data pad. I'm gonna hack the terminal first, just in case. I don't know which one of these was more important. I hope we don't leave after I do this, because I want that data pad. Oh, there we go. Cool. Okay. Uh, scanning. Scanning. Uh, this one. Cool. Bam. Just like that. Sweet. Firewalls removed. Okay, cool. Money. Love to see it. Alright, data pad. There's a just a car here. Probably looking for... The one we sent off on the M AML Demeter. I was happy to see her go. She got chilled. She chilled me to the bone. I just hope this Justicar doesn't mess up my operation. Interesting. I want. Is this just like a random person or is this something like important? The one we sent off world. Was happy to see her go. She chilled me to the bone. That's different. And then Samara showed up. That must be the ship Samara was looking for. Should we mm -hmm. head back to the police station and give her the name? Or look around first? Uh, let's look around. We've got time. Let's look around some more. Just in case. Just in case. I don't think... I think we checked everything. But... I feel like I was pretty thorough. But I just want to make sure, you know? Because, yes, we cannot come back. Understanding that as we go on. 
Yeah, these doors don't open. God, when it does that automatically, I'm... We have survived. <laughs> yeah, we did. Whenever it does it automatically, it stresses me out. <laughs> Should we go back to the spaceport main yard? Uh, yes. We've checked everything here. Let's go. Perfect. <sighs> okay. So, we took out Wasea and the Eclipse here. Found their base, cleared it out. Found out that this Volus is a piece of where'd he go? Hey, you son of a bitch. <laughs> Thank you for removing the Eclipse threat, Earth Clan. It will take them months to rebuild their organization. Also, merely out of curiosity, when you were poking about, did you perhaps run across a shipping manifest that belongs to me? <laughs> What's it worth to you? I think I'll hold on to it. You never know when something like this might come in handy. If it might change your mind, Earth Clan, returning that manifest would be very profitable for you. If you give it to the detective, her reward will be a pat on the back. I know he could probably pay us for it, but he's kind of a piece of shit. I feel like morally, right? But I would be interested to know what he would give. Uh, but he's shady, so maybe it's not even good. If he lied, if if he had that like biotic. The, the serum that basically boosts your biotic ability, but it was toxic. Like, could we really trust what he would give us? Like, honestly? If you have something that'll encourage the Justicar to leave, show it to her. I've got the name of the ship. Your fugitive left here two days ago on the AML Demeter. Shepard, you impress me. You fulfilled your part of the bargain, and I will fulfill mine. Hey. I am ready to leave immediately, if that will satisfy your superiors, Detective. You're free to go, Justicar. Hell yeah. It's been an honor having you in my station. And it's nice you didn't kill me, too. <laughs> I expect you to follow orders. I... I don't know if that's really gonna work. You're sworn to follow a code that dictates your decisions. But I'm running a military operation. You wonder if I will refuse to follow orders because of my code? I can't allow that to happen. By agreeing to follow you, I am compelled to swear the most difficult of Justicar oaths, the third oath of subsumation. After I do, your orders will override the code. You should know, however, that I'll still give you my opinion if the situation warrants. Huh. So there's a part of the code, that there's an oath, that essentially hit our orders override the code. I was very curious that that's a thing. Huh. Well, it's like you play by the code, but then there's this other kind of like a sub-paragraph within the code that says, like, you can do this as part of the oath. Hmm. Cool. Works for us. The Normandy is docked near the main trading floor. I'll see you aboard. I must be sworn to your service so that I am never forced to choose between your orders and the code. Okay. How do we do that? By the code, I will serve you, Shepard. Your choices are my choices. Your morals are my morals. Your wishes are my code. Whoa. Okay. Shit. I never thought I'd see a Justicar swear an oath like that. I didn't really could. If you make me do anything extremely dishonorable, I may need to kill you when I'm released from my oath. Shit. Look, hey, if you do anything, I'll have to kill you, but only after I'm released. After, and until then, we're good, but after. 
I'm gonna have to kill you. I am honored. You'll do anything I say. Anything. Welcome to the team. I'm honored. I can see that this is a very important act, Samara. Thank you. Truly, it's important. the life of a Justicar can get lonely. I admit I am looking forward to serving with a company of honorable heroes. Shall we return to your ship? The most honorable heroes. Uh, not yet, yes. I have business with Anaya. Yes, we have business. Meet you back on the ship. I need to speak to the detective. Thanks for getting Samara out of my district. I can tell my granddaughters about meeting a Justicar. And you've just upped my chances of living long enough to have grandkids. Ellie, I found the murderer. Did your job for you. Oh, it's come on. We don't gotta be a dick about it. All right. You know, she's kind of st stuck doing what she had to do. I have proof that Eclipse killed the Volus merchant. Let's see what you've got there. Interesting. But Just I toss can't it. Verify it. It would be inadmissible. What? I vouch for Shepard and any evidence he brings forward. I accept the judgment of the Justicar. Hey. Thanks, Shepard. I wasn't sure about trusting a stranger and a human at that. But you came through. Never heard of this Elnora. Sounds like she was just starting her career. Good thing you cut it short. Oh, okay, yeah. enough with all the congratulations. <laughs> I've still got a spiraling crime rate. To be fair, yeah, she was like... It also wasn't like she was forced to kill the guy. She did it. And then she was like, oh yeah, he fucking did it. Oh, I can't wait for the next thing. It's like really concerning. I have proof that Pitney Four smuggled in red sand and illegal weapons tech. I'll send in some officers to arrest him and his cohorts. This is a big help, Shepard. I can't do much to thank you, but we do have a small discretionary bounty fund. Take this. Hey, cool. Oh, that's nice. <laughs> Hell yeah, return to the Normandy? No, we don't want to return to the Normandy yet. Not yet, but thanks. I'll be on my way. Be well. Value the Justicar. I've never heard of one working with a human before. Oh no, this is a whole wild situation. I am ready to leave if you are. Shall we return to your ship? I'd like to look around a bit first. Very well. Okay. Oh, can I can I not leave? Do I have to leave that way? <sighs> can we? I'm still grounded. What's going on? Oh no, man. I'm still grounded. <laughs> What's going on? Can we have to we have to go back to the Normandy, huh? I can't I can't go back the normal way that we got here. Probably not. Okay. But that just means I gotta leave the Normandy because we gotta go talk to Liara because we finished the hacking situation. So that'll be interesting. I am ready to leave if you are. Shall right. we return to your ship? Shall. Let's go. <laughs> Another one down. Last one down, actually. Recruited Samara for the team. That is the most simple mission summary we've had <laughs> which is yeah we don't only got Samar but she's a Justicar and learning the Justicar is honestly such a cool fucking thing like no like genuinely they're really fucking cool and it is so fascinating and the fact that she actually swore kind of an oath to us like the way that they do their order and everything in the code like that's a big deal it's a big fucking deal so respectable you know and she's really cool she seems nice welcome to the normandy samara we've studied your profile extensively extensively your skills, i think you'll be an excellent addition to our team thank you from an organization such as yours that is high praise indeed it is Yes. Samara is powerful. We need her. I've seen Samara's biotic powers at work. They're substantial. We still don't know what we're going to find when we hit the Collectors. I will be prepared for whatever we encounter. Where shall we put you? 
A room that looks out on the great empty void would be most comforting. Put her in the observation room on deck three. Thank you. I must meditate on the day's events. Nice. Carry on. Hell yeah. Oh, that's cool. Shit. Damn. I don't know, it's just it's just so fucking I don't know what I expected Samara to be, but that's way cooler than I think what I what I was thinking. Right? Biotic damage. Knowing that she is a powerful biotic, I want this even more. Right? Duration? Yes. Yes. What else can we get? You know, I've been holding off on it. I might as well just I might as well buy it, right? It's a it's a good weapon. Let me get the biotic cooldown. Uh, we need another damage upgrade. And then I gotta go farm out some more platinum. Not too much. Luckily. But it's definitely the next one we can actually get. Sweet. Now that we're back. Kelly. Anything? Anything to say? Commander, you've received a new message at your private terminal. Excellent. <laughs> there is nothing more absolute than the oath of an Asari Justicar. We did well getting Samara on our side. She is so elegant and gorgeous. Too bad her manner is just so cold. <laughs> she's very... She's very elegant. How's the crew? How's the crew? Is there anything I should know? You have unread messages at your private terminal. Grunt seems very anxious, pacing down in the cargo hold. You might want to check in on him. Oh. Anything else, Commander? No. That'll be all. It's always nice chatting with you. Always. That's... Grunt. So we gotta go... Talk to Grunt. We gotta go talk to Grunt as well. He's a little anxious. I've been with Shaira in three months. I can't wait. We're flying into the eye of the storm, and you're thinking about some Asari prostitute? Hey, Whoa. watch it. It's not like that at all. She's so... she's... Uh, you won't understand unless you meet her. Yeah, Shaira, she's different, man. She... it's... it's not... she's not... she's not like that. It's different. The way she gets... she understands on a deeper level. You don't get it until you meet her. So, Commander, even your Asari are trained killers? You get everyone at the same store or something? <laughs> Stupid. That's really funny. Fuck. <laughs> God damn it. What do you think about the people we're picking up? Well, about the ones you went out with last. Well, I always liked Tally, so let's just move on. <laughs> and Thane seems like the strong, sensitive, murdering type. You know, those are always great to have around, a real cuddler. It's just my opinion, though. There's really no need to go spreading it around. Strong, sensitive, occasionally brooding, very, uh, good, uh, good, good, such a, a ladies' man. I assume everything is going well up here? Good for now. Fractured my thumb on the mute, but I think I made my point. That's it for now. See you, Commander. Excellent. And not a ladies' man, like, he goes after the ladies but that he is you know he is a uh, he is one who well not even just late really anybody would be like damn he's the just has those attributes mm. no Jacob you're not gonna say anything anyway <laughs> all right uh, God, we gotta check the messages. Might as well check them over here. Okay. Appreciate the help. You changed my life. Oh. Appreciate the help. Lizbeth Bainum. Bainum. Hey, Shepard. I heard about what you did on Ilium. I wanted to thank you for helping out Zeus Hope one more time. <gasps> Yo. We're surviving, if barely. Most of Extra Jenny left, and I stayed behind as an attache. 
And to make sure nothing was left of the Thorian. That's good. We don't need that problem again. True and true. Also, I'm really, really sorry that I shot at you. Pretty sure I said that, but I just wanted to reiterate it. Good luck and thanks. Zeus Hope is alive again because of what you did. Sincerely, Lizbeth Banum. That's cool. I like that. Hell yeah. And the fact that most of Exogeny left, get him out of there. <laughs> Good. Changed my life. Jeert. Jeert? Jeert. <laughs> Greetings, Commander Shepard. Barrett Sony gave me your contact information. I was one of the cleaning crew in the Dantius Towers. <gasps> oh. <laughs> so we saved him. We helped him. You helped me get out of there. According to Tassoni, you also found Thane. He took down some of the Eclipse mercs trying to gun us down, and I wonder if you could pass along my thanks. The way he moved, one was dead before they even knew he was there. He snapped another's neck, then shot a third, all in the space of a few heartbeats. God damn. It was incredible. He moved like a dancer, grace, and power in constant motion. Seeing him changed my life. Woke up, so woke up something in me I don't fully understand yet. I don't know what I'm going to do, but Slayerian lives are too short to waste as custodians, especially when there's so much else out there. I was going to find something that lets me capture what I saw in him. That beauty. That aesthetic perfection. I'm also going to buy some nice clothes. <laughs> so if you could tell him that or... Just whatever parts you think are appropriate, or, well, you know, whatever, if you want to tell him I think he's, he's handsome. Uh, you know, I'd appreciate it. You know, sincerely, Jared. That's... That's kind of funny. And also, like, wholesome. <laughs> just Bryce like... seems very agitated. You may want to check in on him. He's just a fan. Alright, I understand. Right, we put her on here. Everyone's hanging out in the crew quarters. All right, so we'll go check with Grunt first. He seems, he seems antsy, so I don't want to, want to keep him waiting. Hey, buddy. Chambers said you're tearing up the place. Something wrong? Something is wrong, Shepard. I feel wrong, tense. I just want to kill something with my hands. More so than usual. Like it's not my choice. Like I just wanna... I don't know. Okay. Shit. See? Why do that? What's wrong? Oh, this is... This is interesting. What the fuck? Restrain yourself. You're a Krogan. You have no idea. Okir didn't imprint anything to help you figure this out? I see pictures of old battles. Voices of warlords, but this is a blood haze in my head. I want control when we're moving, fighting. I focus, but here my blood screams, my plates itch, and even you are just noise. I'm tank born. What is this? This is interesting. Okay, let's ask the ship AI. We need a Krogan opinion. Report to the doctor. Oh, shit. We could ask the AI. We could report to the doctor, but it's like... I don't imagine the doctor would really give us any information. I feel like the Krogan opinion would be really... the best. I feel like... Cause maybe they would understand it. Or maybe... Like him being tank born and like him like imprinting all of this shit into him, but he doesn't really understand what any of it means. And then, like, maybe he imprinted like a, a specific nature that he doesn't understand. Don't know if I can help, Grunt. Sounds like we need one of your kind to look into this. Most off world Krogan are warriors. Doctors don't leave the home world to Chanka. I won't ask you to go there. I will control this. Look, I believe you. That you will control because you're strong. You're my man, alright? However, I will happily go there just to help you. But we actually have to go in for a second reason anyway. So this is like doubly to chunk of... Joker can get us to the Krogan homeworld. 
I need everyone at their best. Thank you, Shepard. I don't like this. Fury is my choice, not a sickness. Damn, that's a good... That's also a good line. Fury is my choice, not a sickness. Right? Like, he chooses to be, like... Like... That, that like, battle attitude. Right? Like, that rage, that, that fire. Right? Not because he can't help it. Have time now, Shepard. I want... I need to deal with this. Okay, I understand. I'm listening. What's the issue? Something is wrong. More so than okay. you see. Why do that? What's wrong? Ah, shit. I try. I gotta go through the whole thing again. Okay. <laughs> Okir didn't I, imprint anything. I'm tank born. What Don't know if I most can help. Off I won't ask you to go there. Joker can Thank get us to the road. Okay. Damn. All right. So we gotta we gotta make a line for Tachunka. Shit. Kenneth, what has the new shielding done to your power grid balance? Not much. With built-in capacitor subsystems, they have a surprisingly low draw. Doesn't that mean the shielding boost wouldn't last long under fire? True. They're built for hard, fast strikes, not firefights of attrition. Interesting. Interesting. Interesting, interesting. Okay. Um, let's go... I want to talk to... Let's talk to her. She hang where is she hanging out? Yeah, I had a feeling it was on the other side, so that makes sense. What's this area of the ship? This is one of the ship's observation decks. They provide a sweeping outside view for off-duty personnel. This room is a structural weakness. Any transparent material is weaker than our armor. The elusive man predicted you would object. In combat, the observation rooms are sealed and depressurized. Sheets of ablative armor are extended to cover the windows. That makes sense. Kind of like the other room where um, we can close the shutter. It's like that kind of situation. Yeah, that makes sense. Um, shit, I forgot to check with Edie in uh, in Thane's room if if she was in there. It's just quiet. Oh, deep meditation. Shepard. Hi. How are you? I've spent much of the last 400 years on my own. It is nice to have a colleague to chat with. I may be rusty at it, however. If you are patient, I would love to talk. 400 years? That's insane. <laughs> the mission, your investigation server. How much do you know about our mission? I know that I've sworn an oath to follow you, and that you seek to destroy the Collectors. That is enough for me. Damn, very straightforward. Very, very clear. <laughs> you don't want to know why the Collectors need to be fought? When you live by a code that compels you to harsh action, you learn the dangers of curiosity. If I must kill a man because he has done wrong, do I really wish to know that he is a devoted father? Uh, that is... I, that's a good point, I guess, right? Like, specifically in, in reference to, like, her code, like... Because I always think about that with a lot of the situations. We get not in just this game, but, like, other situations, too. In other games. And it's more just like, okay, they're bad, but, like, why are they bad? Like, where... Where did it go wrong? You know, and it's like, are they bad because they wanted to be? Because, like, they were put up... To, you know, like, all that. And I totally understand that what she's basically implying is, like, you know... Just follow the code being just really cut and clear with it is just better, right? For for getting it done and and the curiosity can yeah. Yeah, that that situation right there. Good example. I'd like to hear more about the criminal you were chasing on Nos Astra. I hope you will understand if I wish to avoid this topic. It is deeply tied to my code and beliefs. Oh, oh okay. You might say it is personal. Okay. I don't... I don't want to, like, 
push it then. I don't want to make you upset. Shit. But, perfect. I need to know if this will impact the mission. It will not. Okay, fair enough. We'll stay out of it. What do you think of Cerberus? I've heard rumors, but learned long ago to form my own impressions. There is too much room for interpretation in the opinions of others. True. True. Your opinion is compromised if you listen to other people's opinions or their thoughts before you form your own. Right. But you're with Cerberus now. Why were you willing to work for Cerberus when you didn't have first-hand knowledge? I work for you, Shepard. Our methods may be different, but our goals are not. Yeah, that's good. <laughs> she works for us. Which is... I mean, it is true. She swore the oath to us, not Cerberus. I should get back to work. It has been my pleasure, Commander. It's been... Mine too. This was nice. I like Samara. She's really fucking cool. She's very... She's not complicated, right? She's very... Um... She's a simple, straightforward person. <laughs> uh, let's see. Uh... Well, okay, wait. Does she have... Does she have any... Upgrade potential? I just thought of that. I just remembered. Do you have any? Yeah, that's what... That's what I forgot to do. <laughs> Shepard. What are your impressions of Miranda and Jacob? Jacob is an earnest young man. Events will either forge him into a great man or utterly destroy him. Oh, shit. Miranda is undoubtedly a hard woman. I respect her strength and determination. She carries many burdens and doesn't share them with others. As it should be. As it should be. How do you think our mission is going? Building our forces is a good strategy. However, the time to strike is coming soon. I mean, we do have the whole crew now. We do have everybody. Like, all of our dossiers are cleared. So, um... So we, we are very rapidly approaching <laughs> the... Yeah, the time to strike. Do you have any suggestions about using some of the resources we've gathered? I believe I can use some of them to increase our fuel reserves so we can explore further. Shall I tell you what is required? Ooh, that's good. Especially because we're gonna, if we're going to go around these other systems, like around the outer rings and go to these, use that fuel to, yeah, scoot around. Show me what it would take. Ship enhancements, extended fuel cells, Helios thruster tech. Harmony now has plus 50% fuel cell capacity. Engine refitted with Heed Industries designed Helios thruster module. Oh, we have enough EZO. Thank God. Hell yeah. Sweet. Nice. God, just so many upgrades. I love the up. I, I will say, so far, so far. Mass Effect 2, I do like the upgrade system. I think that is that is a cool addition that um, that the first game didn't really have any like real upgrading of the Normandy. Like even though we don't feel like a lot of the upgrades, like specifically like the armor and the shields, right? But they're there. Knowing they're there, it's kind of neat, right? Zara, there's the models we bought. It's good shit. So there's two, two more somewhere. <laughs> okay. There's two wine glasses that have been here for a while. But we don't have anyone that hangs out with us up here. Like, this is cool armor, right? I think it was really rad. The regeneration bonus, I definitely felt. The health I didn't really feel, the storm speed was nice. But, um, do we, do I want to change it again? Right, because what are we going to do? We're going to go talk to, 
Liara. Right? And then... What else are we going to do? Because I kind of want to run with the Blood Dragon armor. <laughs> it looks really cool. That's so sick. I kind of, yeah, I kind of want to. But if we're going to go talk to the Ara, I kind of maybe helmet up. No, it's fine. It's fine. Grunt, right of passage, more to no blood. So, oh, I wonder if these are their loyalty missions. So is that then technically we have all except... Garrus and Tali, right? Um, I'm complete. Shit. Okay. Uh, because we don't really know when we get their their loyalty missions. They kind of just show up. So I kind of want to talk to Garrus. I know it's going to be like, maybe maybe he has absolutely nothing to say. But maybe he does. But also, maybe he doesn't. <laughs> How can I help you, Commander? You have everything you need. Absolutely. Since you set up my kitchen with proper supplies, thanks again. Okay, just want to check. I won't take any more of your time. <laughs> Back to work. Back to work. As you're just kind of chilling. <laughs> Yo. Shepard, need me for something? Have you got a minute? Can it wait for a bit? I'm <laughs> in the middle of some calibrations. <laughs> yeah, see you Talk to you later, Garrus. I'll be here if you need me. All right. Okay, so I think... I think that's it. Maybe, maybe Kelly will let us know? I don't know. I'm unsure. But I think... Right, because I feel like that's it, right? Like, I think we're good. Because they set up... No messages um, for you, Commander. We got Morden's thing. We got Grunt's thing now. And both of them happen to also be on Tachanka, so that's going to be a thing we have to do. Right? And then... And then... How much fuel do we get? 50%, so it'd be 15. Yes. Sweet. I have 110,000. I have enough to buy things on Ilium again. Oh, we could do Miranda's mission. Maybe. Let's do. Let's do. Let's do Liara's thing. Let's go give her the intel. Let's talk to her. And then. And then. We'll reassess. <laughs> right? We'll reassess kind of how how the next thing we do. I kinda wanna bring Samara. <sighs> yes. <laughs> and Tally. This is, it's so cool. That's really cool. Okay, four. We have four. We have four. So we can become... We can evolve. Evolve our purpose. What do we got? Assassin. God, that is such a stacked bonus. Weapon damage 15. Health 15. Power recharge time. That parry and renegade. Agent. Okay, so this one's you focus in sniper zoom enhanced. Your focus in sniper zoom is enhanced and you receive a damage bonus to all weapons and powers. Right? There's an agent. Your endurance and mental fortitude reduce the recharge time of your powers and give a bonus to their duration. Your Paragon and Renegade scores increased scores reach their highest level. Your Paragon and Renegade scores reach their highest level. Plus a hundred percent. So when we make those Paragon and Renegade choices, like like we get the most 
bonus to like build these these up, right? These sides. That's pretty good. But the weapon damage is really good. Slow down. It's nice. Power duration 15%. Power damage 15%. I'm gonna go with assassin. Assassin seems like a really it's it seems like the the right feeling for Infiltrator Shepherd to go for. Feels right. Now Samara. We've got some cool shit. Throw, pull, Justicar, Reeve. Reeve. Dangerous targets nervous and synthetic systems to prevent healing. Restores health and gives temporary health bonus when power is used against organics. Reeve also does double damage to armor and barriers. Cool. Well, I definitely want to boost Justicar. Health, weapon damage, and power recharge time. Even if it's not relying a lot of her weapon damage, the power recharge time is just really good to boost. Right? Um... Evolve. Let's see. Sapien's just a car. Kato? Kato? Just a car? So Samara's biotic abilities now rival those of an Asari matriarch, further reducing the recharge time of her powers. And then Samara's time is spent honing her lethal skills, increasing her weapon damage. So she's running around with a gun. 25% weapon damage, 18% recharge time. But this is 25% recharge time. That is insane. A minus 25%. That's huge. Right? This is a lot of weapon damage. But it's like 7%. So it's, it's literally a trade-off between the same 7%, but between weapon damage and power recharge. I kind of like the power recharge, right? So, we'll do full throw. Do, do one into each, just like that. And I do like that she can hack with us, but I also kind of want to save it for her specialization also excuse me my sources indicate you were in a warehouse recently did you by any chance forward a questionable shipping note to a mr thax <laughs> i did what's it to you uh-oh 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 this might be good or ben what's it to you though that depends on who's asking my intentions are peaceful and i'll take that as a yes I'm a representative for Mr. Thax. He's very grateful to you. Oh. Please accept this as a gift for bringing the shipping irregularities to his attention. Well. Happy to... Happy to help. If that's a good thing. I imagine. What will Thax do? You need me to find... You need me to find who did this? What happens to the shipping agent who is cheating Thax? That depends on how sincere her apology is, and how willing she is to correct her mistake. Oh shit. <laughs> that depends on how sorry she is. How sincere she is. Shit. Do you want help finding the person who cheated Thax? Thank you, but that won't be necessary. Mr. Thax will be making a series of polite calls. Hopefully a confrontation will not be required. <laughs> oh shit. God, that's so much more intimidating. It was my pleasure. Have a pleasant day. Huh. Look at that. It's the little things. It's the little things. Uh, God, I hope that was the right thing to do. <laughs> Otherwise we... Fucked it up. But... Armor's really cool. Like, it's really nice. Literally walking around with medieval looking armor we go. in away, space. It's great. Give up your plans. 
Okay. We are. Uh, hello. Hey. Shepard, it's good to see you again. Thank you for getting me that system data. Here, it's not much, but hopefully it will help you on your mission. Do you remember the Shadow Broker? With the data you got me, I may be able to find information caches from his agents. Ooh. <laughs> I do remember the Shadow Broker. Might be able to find information caches from his agents. Interesting. Who is that? We know who that is. But for the sake of it, so everyone's on the same page. I've got a lot on my plate. Remind me who the Shadow Broker is. He's the most powerful and dangerous information broker in the galaxy. No one knows who he is. Given his resources, there's speculation he may actually be a group operating under one name. Hell yeah. This dude's been fucking wild. Since the beginning, since we arrived on the Citadel in Mass Effect 1, like, just the little things discussing the Shadow Broker, right? He didn't have any, like, deep... He, his hands weren't, like, deep in anything that we were trying to do, like, with the, the Reapers and going after Saren and everything, but it was the fact that he had such a presence, such a... such a power, right? Is he after you? Are you okay? Are you on the run from the Shadow Broker? I can help you. Actually, it would be more accurate to say that the Shadow Broker is on the run from me. We crossed paths not long after you died. Since then, I've been working to take him down. With this data, I'm a step closer. Holy shit. That's fucking nuts. The, the, the absolute flex of that to be like, no, actually, he's, he's the one running from me. He's the one that should be afraid. Damn. Come with me. I'll help. What happened? You can't come with me because you're after the Shadow Broker? What if I help you find him? I'm sorry, Shepard. The galaxy doesn't work that way. I need to find leads, trace information. I need to work. I can't do that on the Normandy. I wish I could. <sighs> it hurts, but I get it. God damn it. What happened? I've never seen you ready to execute someone in cold blood. What did the Shadow Broker do to you? I was on a job with a friend. The Shadow Broker's people caught us. My friend didn't escape. I don't know if he's dead or being interrogated. But I need to find him. I owe him my life. Shit. And I need to make the Shadow Broker pay for what he did. Oh yeah, fuck him up. You're obsessed. Good luck with your plan. So. Dude. Shadow Broker made a fucking dangerous enemy. Let me know if there's anything else I can do. Thanks, Shepard. I will. No. Is there anything else I can help you with? Uh, let's get the Shadow Broker later. 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 Not yet. I want to. A little, little bit later. Not that much later. How's your own work going? The data you gave me was extremely helpful. It gave me a target. The Shadow Broker has several contacts here on Ilium. The most powerful is someone called the Observer. Taking down the Ooh. Observer will put me closer to the Shadow Broker. I could use your help. Interesting. <laughs> oh. I did say, if you needed help, let me know. So we're here now. <laughs> Taking down the Observer. Whoever this is. This is garbage. What do you need? What about... this is garbage. What do you need? But it's on the left side, so this could be more of an inquiry? I don't know. I don't want to fuck this up. <laughs> How... What does that mean, though? This is garbage. Like, because it's just one part, it's not the actual Shadow Broker, it's himself? Or... Damn it, Liara, I came to talk to you, not to help with your petty vendettas. I'm so close, Shepard. I've been hunting for almost two years now. I can't do this without you. I don't have the technical skill to reconstruct the data, and the Shadow Broker only refers to his agents by race and profession. My inquiries have narrowed the Observer down to one of five operatives. A Turian, a Salarian, a Krogan, a Batarian, and a Vorcha. If you can refine the list, 
I'll know where to strike. That 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 confrontation stressed me the fuck out. <laughs> we just go at her like that. Damn it, Liara, knock this shit off. But no, I like she's like we narrowed it down to one of every species. So that's pretty good. Do you know anything else? Let's intimidate them. Do you have any specifics on these agents? I'm afraid not. Nixeris was lucky to get as much as she did. I was happy to help, ma'am. The data is our only hope of determining which one is the observer. And if we wait too long, they'll all disappear. Uh, shit. Let's intimidate them. Let me go talk to these people. I'll get the name you need. This is a delicate operation, Shepard. If you shake down one agent, the others will go to ground, and my chance will be lost. Liara is right. We need to get enough evidence to strike, and we need it soon. I'm more than capable of handling the violence, Shepard. I need your help gathering the data. Damn. Fuck, Liara. Oh, I can handle the violence. Damn, I won't do this. I'm on it. I feel like this is probably for the best. You know, it's like, I won't do this. Like, it sounds kind of shady, but I trust her. You know? I'll reconstruct the data and tell you what I find. Thank you, Shepard. When you find something, call me on the radio channel we used in the old days. I can't <laughs> risk handling this in person. Like the old days. I'll talk to you later, Liara. Okay. Whew, that was interesting. Okay. She has other. Wait, help Liara later. Is there more? Or is this. It's probably more, right? But. Liara, the observer. Oh, help Liara. We finished help Liara later. Got it. Okay. Data fragments. Unhackable terminals around Ilium. So this is a whole thing. This is a series of things that we're doing. Okay. Oh, cause she's she's chasing the Shadow Broker. That's wild. Can I just hack it or am I gonna have to chase something? Okay. Very careful, delicate operation. Okay. There we go. I think this is, yeah. Yeah, cool, cool, cool. What do we get? Data point five. Vorcha Trader has requested no further contact with the Salarian. Salarian is becoming more trouble than he is worth. Observer recommends a kill, but she may have a grudge. Okay. So it could be one of any of those. If if the Observer recommends a kill, then... So, okay, Vorja Trader has requested no further contact with Solarian. Solarian is becoming more trouble than he is worth. So the Observer is not Solarian. Shepard, did you get any information on the Observer? Oh, God. Uh, sh okay, so we, we can literally... Oh, God, kill the Solarian, the Vorja, the Turian, the Krogan, the Batarian. Fuck. Okay. Oh god, we gotta be real careful about this. Not yet, not yet. But I ruled out Solarian. Right? Because the Solarian's becoming more trouble. And the the observer wants to take him out. So the Solarian is not the answer. Let me search for more data. I'll get back to you. Thank you. Let me know what you find. Okay. So it's not Solarian. Okay, so there's gonna be a lot of chasing these terminals around. Okay. All right. Let's do it. We're here. I don't think. Can I afford this whole thing? I think I can. Because okay, so this Kestrel thing is really strong. Like it's these little percentages, but the fact that they, they all like stack. 
He's really impressive. <laughs> but we can't use these with the existing armor sets. This is a custom armor set. So like the armor we're wearing now and like the collector one, these these don't matter for that. Um Oh. These are so much money. This would be 50,000. We could increase Metagel again. That was the time limit for bypass. I don't feel like I really need this, but maybe. I don't really use Metagel. I don't use it as often as I should, but maybe having that's probably a good idea. I get these two. I can get the amp upgrade and the Omni tool upgrade. Because that biotic damage, that's 30%. That's a lot. And now we're poor. But we're happily poor because we're powerful. <laughs> so the total comes to 116,420 credits. Oh. Oof. Of course, I, uh... I thought that was my spending. You should try it my way. Look at how the wind Okay, is there other... I... Well, Where are the other terminals? Are there other terminals over here? We have to go to, like, some of the other... We gotta go further in, I think. Right? Yeah, probably. That's probably a good idea. So, we have to find these other terminals so we can basically... Make this whole deduction of who the observer actually is, and then kill Sell them. No, so we have no, one no, shot. Quite literally, we have one real call. If we fuck it up, we kill the wrong person, and we blow this whole operation because they'll scatter. They're all working together. The only difference is one of them is the observer. One of them is the observer. We just don't know who. Ooh. And then, so we have that happening. We gotta go to Tachanka, and we gotta do all these loyalty missions, and then we got these N7 ones, and then, um, as well as going out and farming resources from the other planets and checking out all those systems. So we're going to pick this up in the next episode. So thank you very so much for watching. <laughs> this is a long one. This is a long one. I know I missed, uh, missed the last couple of days just because I didn't have time to do anything. So made up a little bit for it, making a little bit of a longer one this time. So hopefully that's not that bad. Hopefully that's not too bad. <laughs> but um, stick around for more Mass Effect because we, we both, it both feels like we're getting closer to the end, but we still have a full stack of things to do, right? Samara seems really cool, so I'm very interested in how she's going to be in combat. She sounds actually really cool, so we'll see how that goes next time we fight something. But let me know what you guys think in the comments about all this, getting Samara, the, the whole, her whole situation as we get closer and closer to confronting the collectors, finally. And I'm very looking forward to very much looking forward to to Chunka. Not just because I know, not just because I know Rex is there. And can get, you know, if we if we do see him, it'd be pretty cool. But I think it's mostly because it's like this is a Krogan world, right? We've never seen that. Not really. Not at all, actually. <laughs> so that'll be fun. That'll be fun when we do that. And the other ones. So thank you very Thank you so much for watching and sticking through. See you guys in the next video. Bye bye.